common mutations in AML? Yeah, so the most common mutation in AML is FLT3, FLT3 mutation. Uh, this is both prognostically important mutation, presence of an FLT3 in a newly diagnosed AML has been shown in many large publications by the German cooperative group, British cooperative group, our group and others is associated with an inferior survival. Uh, also now on top of that, it is also a therapeutically important mutation in addition to having negative prognostic value because the addition of FLT3 inhibitors seems to dilute to a large extent the negative prognostic value. So we believe that if we can identify FLT3 mutations at FLT3 inhibitors, we can definitely improve the outcome of those patients. The second most common is what we call NPM1 mutation and that tends to co-occur with FLT3. About 55% of patients with an FLT3 mutation will have a co-occurring NPM1. NPM1 is very interesting. If NPM1 mutation is present on its own without a FLT3, it's actually associated with favorable outcome. It's a favorable prognostic marker. However, if NPM1 is present with a FLT3, and especially if the FLT3 has a high quantity, high allelic load, then the NPM1 loses its uh, favorable impact. So now we're kind of moving beyond just, do you have one mutation or not, which is what we thought 10 years ago to, well, yes, you have this mutation, but what about the co-occurring mutation? And even beyond, what about the burden or what we call the variant allele frequency of that mutation? So for good or bad, you know, and I think it's good in the end because it's going to improve the patient outcomes, that we are getting more more in-depth and there's no longer quote unquote AML. So there's a lot more granularity and um, analysis that is required even before starting treatment. And this is the thing that in the community, we're educating the doctors a lot is that, you know, it's okay to wait four to six days, especially if the patient does not have a very proliferative leukemia to get the important blood work to identify the appropriate molecular and chromosome group so that we can select the right treatment, which will improve outcome rather than just rushing into standard treatment and missing a particular molecular chromosome group. Mm -hmm.